Hey, hey, hope you guys are doing well. Um, this week, we're looking at the uh, plumbers coming in, finish up, doing everything on that. That'll be done. So, only thing I have left to do on that is to put in the uh, shower door. <laughs> and all the plumbing and everything is done on that, get my towel racks and stuff up. The only thing I have left to do other than that is to, I gotta fill and prep all the baseboards and trim and get everything painted on that and caulk. Once we get that, and you know, before I fill and prep, I've got to go get another one by three, as I said on the last video. Uh, I've got to get that area up top boxed out and that door done, and I need to get the top window. I cut that board too short. That's gonna happen, because I was cutting three or four at the, together, and they were supposed to be 41 and a half, and I cut one of them at 40 and a half. So, a simple mistake, just kind of unconsciously doing that stuff so that's gonna happen but we're gonna get this done if I can get the plumbers in here this week and by this weekend we can get everything done next week final inspection and we're good to go on this house um, technically I could move in by I probably could move in by the end of next week in that house I really could but I think what I would do is I gotta get the wall closet and a few things I've got to order some things got to get my window blinds done and um, then we can do all that. Got a lot of cleaning to do. I gotta get those windows scrubbed and clean in the outside and that porch. I got a lot of cleaning. You gotta make sure there's no dust and no debris around. Get that thing ready for living. Gotta get everything ready to go. And then once I'm in the house, it's I've got stuff in the yard to do. Once we start, the season starts getting a little drier and we start being able to do that. I think one of the first things, as I told you, I'm going to do is get that concrete lip around the edge, keep water from going under my house. And I'm going to do something cool under my house instead of brick. And we'll talk more about that later. It'll be real cool. And uh, everything, you know, getting gravel spread and things done. So one thing at a time. It's going to be cool. We're going to get it done. So uh, get the plumbers in here is our goal this week. Get the plumbers in here. Finish the rest of the bit. It's a bits of trim and start prepping, get all that done, ready to paint this weekend. And uh, we're off to the races. Indeed. Let's see what we can get done. Maybe next couple weeks we'll be in this house. We'll get the occupancy certificate and get the ball rolling on that deal. Man, I tell you what, just, I don't know, it just irritates me. God, it's like here, another Lowe's. It's like Lowe's is, uh, saws, the cutters, are about, they're becoming like the uh, milkshake machines at McDonald's. None of them ever work. It's like, geez, it's becoming a problem. Second Lowe's here in the same area while well, the saw's broken in and work. Well, because, oh, it never works. I'm like, really? <laughs> I just needed that. I had to get that 12 foot one by three and cut it in half. I couldn't fit it in my car. So I can't. I said, do you have a saw anywhere? I could just hand saw it to get it cut in the center. She couldn't find one, no, nothing. Store's got all those tools and she didn't have one spare that they would use at the, at the uh, pro desk. Nothing, nothing. Oh, hell. So I don't need it until maybe Wednesday evening. So I'll get back over tomorrow. See if I can uh, get that uh, jigsaw. I'll get the jigsaw before it and, and pick it up then. So, which, makes me think that I need to go ahead and just maybe run up to the house and grab it and have it in a car and then grab it tomorrow because you know the saw ain't gonna work tomorrow I got a Somerville on the big one or over here in North Charleston none of them are gonna work so anyway it's not gonna ruin my day off to the next my friends all right so we are here Waiting for the plumbers, they're gonna be finishing up. We'll have plumbing today, it'll all be done. Um, meanwhile, I got in here really early this morning, just filling in all the gaps for the baseboards and trim, getting all that done. You may see some spackling compound, getting all these holes. I've got some challenging spots, but it's not so challenging we can't get it done. Just a little time consuming. Like the top of that doorway, I gotta get it done really well. I got this window done, and once I get the windows and doors, I'll do the baseboards last because that'll be easy. Because I'm caulking the top, it's just getting screws. I want to get the uh, heaviest that's most challenging. So, but other than that, we're getting there. I went to Lowe's the other day, couldn't get my one by three. So, 
Sometime today or something, I got to go to Lowe's and get the one by three for that. And the box out the top there, we'll have that done. We'll fill those screws, get all that done. And we'll be off to the races, folks. We get this done, it's the biggest of the work. And I get the shower door in, I can call for final inspection. All right, so the plumber is there doing his thing. I had to leave him. I had to go run some deliveries real quick. It wasn't real quick. It'd be a little while, but be back later. About time to get back, we'll have plumbing in the house and everything done with that. So I uh, was filling some baseboards and trim with some caulk, I mean, some uh, spackling compound stuff to harden it up and fill everything. So didn't get everything I wanted done, but hey, I knew I wouldn't. I was only there about an hour and a half or so, two hours. But we're going to get there. That filling and all that stuff with the windows takes most of the time. The baseboards are easy. It's just getting screws filled on the baseboards. Once those are painted, we caulk all the baseboards, get everything done. It's going to look good. And then I get the shower door and we call for final inspection. I'll probably go ahead and get my towel racks and stuff like that and some other things. But we're going to get there, folks. Going to get it done. This house is almost done here. This next week, we're going to be cleared to move in, but I probably won't move in until the 1st of March because I've got other things I've got to get. I've got to get my refrigerator and appliances. I've got to get my, my seven, seven in one oven, this little small one I've got. It's a microwave convection air fryer inverter. Uh, I don't know what, I guess an inverter is a dehydrator. I don't know. If you know what an inverter is, chime in and below tell me in the comments but other than that we're ready to rock on this deal indeed we are my friends looks like the shake machine oh excuse me the saw at Lowe's is still down two of them both of them in the same city saws are down and I was told the lady again I said this thing's starting to be like the McDonald's milkshake machine they started laughing I was like, yeah, that is actually the truth because it seems like a saw never works. I said, well, so what I did instead of getting one 12 foot, I know we can go fit in the car. I just got two eight feet and drop across the front seat to the front. Just to, I got to get it done. A few dollars more just to get this thing because I need to get it done. I can't, <sighs> can't pedal around with that anymore. We need to get that top of that window and that other thing boxed. I need to go ahead and cut the door and get all that done and get it ready. I got to prime it get all of that that uh, baseboards and trim prepped and, and filled and done get ready to paint it this weekend um, I'm gonna head to the house real quick to see what he got done with the plumbing I think he said he'd be done by noon so looks like uh, everything should be good to go what, what he had to do didn't take him too terribly long I think it was he had my bathroom sink was a little bit of a challenge of running a couple of things he had the kitchen sink the toilet the shower and get the hot water running systems and then uh i told him i said if you could check make sure the clean out towards the road and what it's draining properly and right there and then i think they screen and covered my vent pipes outside caulked them uh other than that, I think he caulked the shower. He had a, a little bit to do. Hell, for all I know, he may still be there working, which I don't think. Those guys are pretty good. They can get that stuff done. So We shall see. We shall see. Well, folks, we've got fixtures and plumbing installed. It's just he's got the water off, and I don't know before I run anything if he's got to come back or something's not running here because the hot water heater has no power to it. However, there's a breaker to it, and I need to need to make sure that that breaker, before I turn it on, everything is okay on that hot water heater. Maybe see if he's tested or not. So it'd be pretty cool. All right, so I'm heading up to the house to get some work done. This weekend, I'm hoping to have all my baseboards painted and done. We'll get the shower door in. I picked up my window blinds not as expensive as i thought they would be even though they can tend to be expensive i if i had gotten all the level blinds cut to fit they would have been seven or eight hundred dollars for these blinds or more so. um anyway i didn't go with getting them all cut the level brands are nice but i had to get two of my blinds cut 
and that was the two for my front windows those are the two front windows i had to i had to order specifically because of the sizes because they didn't manufacture them on a normal basis they had to be custom made for that so go figure um there's hopefully the size for my front door and my other windows i hope they're they're okay they're not too short and they're not too long um i don't know what that will lead to because these blinds that cut they're only can only go down a certain width like a lot of them can only go 36 inches i had 32 33 um but another brand had them right where the size i needed because i had 34 and a half inch width on the window so 34 was fine you've got a about a quarter of an inch either side and it's not gonna you can't see through them it's just you want them to be blackout but they may not be 100 percent blackout that's okay i may later get some blackout curtains that'll be always open to the sides of the windows that might can help that then if i want to close that curtain i can do that so um i primed and cut the little door for the hatch for the crawl space up top which is not really a crawl space it's just going to be a little storage space so as you know we can't crawl in there it's not big enough but i primed that cut it and primed it i got it framed out that wall is usual like every other wall, wall in the house. It's not 100% level. It's kind of was arching outward a little bit on the bottom. So I had to sculpt the back of that wood panel inward, just kind of cut it inward to kind of get it to go in flush as I could. Um, that's just the um, things you're going to run into on a lot of things, especially when you're doing something like this. So a lot of things you will run into this if you want to do this yourself. You're going to see obstacles. We had obstacles getting that drywall in, and it created obstacles when I was mudding and taping and painting, and then the end result created a couple of things that I'm just not too worried about. You know, I can always fix them later. I really, you know. Now, I can say it was not gonna be a perfect finish. I don't think any house is perfect, but it's not level five drywall finish by any stretch. Oh, I got a late start here today. I'm tired. I've been running around so much. I slept in a little bit today. I needed it. That I did. But I had to go by Lowe's and go by Harbor Freight, pick up stuff. And I'm the worst at making mental notes in my brain of what I think I need to. I, I remember what I need and I always forget something. So I guess I'll find out what I forgot when I get to the, up to the house. I, I don't know. Shit. You know, there's a lot to be said for writing it down, which you need, but I'm like, okay, I made two or three tubes of the flex caulk. I need some camper seal, door window seal for the door of the loft, and then I need all this stuff. And <laughs> that's like, I guarantee that I missed something. But you know, luckily, there's a hardware store in town that I can hit if I need something. And I will say, interestingly, that I go to Lowe's for most of everything, but a lot of things ain't too much more expensive at that hardware store in town than Lowe's. There are things that are more, but because Lowe's sells bulk of it, but when you get into tubes of caulking and stuff and, and things that you need, it's not too much more. And a lot of times I'd rather go get it from them and support that local business, man, I'll tell you. A lot of people don't stop and realize, you know, there's local businesses out there struggling because of these big box stores, but the big box stores have their own purpose. They exist for a reason, <clears throat> and they have a lot of things that he doesn't have, or he may have something they don't carry, and that is true. You know, these smaller hardware stores may carry something the big box stores don't. Maybe it's because they don't sell a lot of them, or they just don't sell it, period. But it is what it is, you know. If you have a local business that's not too much more expensive close to you, support them, you know. Because I don't know about now, but for, for and it may still be, is the backbone of our economy is local business, probably about 75% of it. And um, a lot of people are speculating that big box stores are gonna rule the world and there'll be no more local small businesses if we don't support them, so I don't know. I, uh, it's a lot changed in the world that it has. But we're gonna get some stuff done today. As I said, I got last night, I 
stopped by the house for a little bit. I've got everything sanded, filled, and done, ready to paint the baseboards, ready to go with that. Everything's done. Just got to get this stuff painted. We'll get the baseboard trim caulked, get my shower door in, and a few things. I'm hoping this week to call for final inspection. I think we'll be a good chip. I got to get in touch with my electrician. I need them to, I need to find out if those light switches are backwards, man, for my pot lights. If I get dinged on my final inspection for that, you know, I don't know. I need to see if they can reverse those and find out why that, all, all three of them are backwards. There's three different circuits, the, the living, the bed, and the bathroom, those pot lights, the ceiling lights are just, I'm hitting the switch up and it's turning it off and down and it's turning it on. I mean, in most cases it's a backward switch, but I don't know if that's going to have any effect on final inspection, so I need to I need to find that out. We need to get on that, so that we do. Let's get on it, folks. That's what we're going to do. My day is a running out. We need to get it done. Oh, folks, it's late. And uh, it's been here painting all evening. I know y'all have seen people paint before. I didn't have videos of it, but I'll tell you, the trim, the window trim looks good. Let's leave the tape on it. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. We'll get it all cleaned up. Everything's done. I've got it all painted. As far as I know, it's all painted. We'll double check everything tomorrow. My goal tomorrow is to get the shower door, glass door done. We get that done and a few things. I would assume that I'm ready for final inspection on this deal. Of course, I've got to get that door hatch done. I got some uh, barrel latches, as they call them. They call them barrel latches, those things that slide over and like you put on gates or something, but for indoor. I got some uh, camper seal. I got the wrong weather seal. It was too thick. So we got a camper seal. It's a little thin. You can, it'll seal off. So, because that loft area, excuse me, it's late. I got to go get some sleep. The loft area is not insulated, so you really want to seal that off and keep that shut. So, looking good, folks. We're getting there. That's for darn sure. I tell you, everything looks great, man. Trim is done, folks. The only thing I've got to do is I've got some cleaning around the baseboards. I've got to get up little paint spots from the floor, which doesn't, that doesn't adhere to final plank flooring. Some rubbing alcohol, a little plastic scraping tool. I gotta get all of that off my baseboards. That'll come up. It's kind of a pain to have to do, but some places where some tape got stuck in the edge of the windowsill, I just have to take a little blade and just kind of scrape that stuff out. But other than that, that's minor stuff. My goal today is to get that shower door in and let's get that done see if we can uh, get that done without any problems well my friends as i figured i would do something with that and we got it those barrel latches are for indoor use i guess for drawers and closet doors and stuff so it works great for that and uh that would be more of a storage hatch as i said i can't crawl it it's only nine inches and i can't crawl up in there that's, we just kind of made a decision we had to put the ceiling there instead of opening it all the way up into that loft area. But I can put some pool cords on like guitar cases and small totes and slide them in there and it'll work out just fine. Pretty cool. Now, we need to get the shower door in. I tell you, it doesn't look like there's a million and one pieces to this thing, but the glass, I was carrying out of the box. I had to be very careful bringing it in. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, I mean, six or eight pieces, you got the tracks. It's just uh, reading the directions and trying to figure out, um, I've got these little glass trays that go into the, the corners of the shower. Plumber said, I guess you just drill the holes wherever you want these. And I'm like, they look like they go into the corners, what it looks like. And I just gotta figure out what it tells me about drilling these holes because I have hardware in there and there is wall anchors, but I don't need them. Provided the wood is right behind that panel. These are, uh, I don't know. I think you screw these little things in and it goes in, but we shall see. That's all we can do. Man, I'll tell you, these wall anchors, 
Didn't have any wood behind it. it hit wall, one wall anchor in, apparently went in too far. Wooden tighten. So luckily I got the screw out from the wall anchor. It fell and tried another one. So a minus one wall anchor, I may have to go get another, but these don't go in exactly the way they tell you. It's, it's crazy, it really is. Well, there's the weatherman, there you go. Weatherman stuff's getting better. They uh, went on pretty good there. Looks like, uh, I think it'll be 100% level. I don't think anything is, to be honest. But they're on, and they're gonna do their job. Now it's the fun part, getting these doors in. It's gonna be interesting. So we got lots of warnings and stuff about the uh, tempered glass. Nothing's chipped, everything is good. I just got a lot of screws and a lot of parts. I think you know as well as I know, if you've installed stuff enough, you start seeing all this and all this crazy stuff, and all these numbers, you're, you start going into panic mode. It's like, oh hell. But I tell you, we're gonna read some directions here. I think we're going to get it. We're going to get it. That we are. So I've read the warnings. Let's set that over here. Let's see what we can do. we got to follow the directions. Measure twice, cut once. And in my case, measure ten times and cut once. You know, it's like everything else I do. Where in the hell do I begin with this? I really don't know. i got uh, four pieces of glass two top rails, some plastic molding, and then I've got four metal rails and I don't know if they go together or separate or, and then, you know, <clears throat> you've put things together before. You know how this is. You're gonna wear your proper PPE safety glasses and shit like that. But there's all this list of tools and I'm thinking, why in the hell would I need a miter saw? Where is that? Right there. Why do, I, why do I need that? Hacksaw possibly, but I don't think so. Because this is the uh, this is the exact door kit for the shower. Shouldn't have to cut anything. So something tells me I need to go watch the video before I do this. I think that's what we're gonna do, folks. We're gonna read this and watch the video. Yes, I know, I'm forced to have to read the damn manual. I'm a guy. We never read the manual. That's what they say, but. That's all a myth. People should know better than that. Well, folks, I'm not doing too bad. And that's the frame and the sides of the glass. Now I gotta get the door in there on the track. And uh, I'll have to caulk the inside real good. But other than that, I think we're, uh, this thing's coming together pretty good. They always, a lot of times, look more intimidating than they are, but with this tempered glass, you have to be extremely careful when you tighten this stuff down, that's for sure. Well, it looks like we have a shower door installed. Completely done. I got all the silicon caulking done. One thing I will say about this, man, it's a hell of a process. You just have to take your time and go slow installing this. Just read the directions, go slow. You could do it. But you have to be mindful of that glass the whole time you're doing that. When you're tightening things and moving things around, that temper glass, stuff could pop. You just have to be very mindful of it. But that's the shower, folks. I've got everything done. I've got to clean up, obviously, and the paint off the floor and stuff, but let's put some window blinds in. I think that's what we need to do next. Well, folks, let's see if we get some window blinds done. I think I said the other day when I got my window blinds that uh, I got all the sizes I think I need. Let's hope they work. Um, except two I had to have cut for my front windows because those were, I had to special order those front windows because they, Lowe's just didn't sell that size and manufacturer had to make them to, to, to size. So it took about four to six weeks to get those in. Uh, kind of makes me think, God, can't have nothing happen to those windows because be four to six weeks that window being out would not be good. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can start with that window right there. And then we'll start with my exact sizes. See if those work. You've bought window blinds before and you probably know when you measure the window, there's probably a half inch difference. Like I had 34 and a half on these or 36 inch windows. We put the trimming in, it brought it in, good inch, inch and a half. Three quarters of an inch either side, so inch and a half off. So it was a half an inch, so I just flipped the difference at 34. We put a quarter of an inch on each side and 
Let's hope that works because if they don't work, I'm gonna have to custom cut these bonds and that's gonna make things a little nerving because not knowing if I'm getting that stuff cut exactly, but we shall see. Looks good. That's, and I went outside, you can't see in it. And it's uh, pretty much a, a blackout, it's pretty cool. Works for me.